Yep. 4.15 and we're at it again, y'all. 4.15 in the morning. Woo, let's get this day started. be me but this video is starting to look familiar again it seems kind of like a yesterday event I could be wrong but I don't think I am <laughs> ha -ha. all right everybody we are back it's now 456 we got to be at the port at such and such a time so we here with my load, so let's come on here, do 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 do, find out where I'm at. It's Sunday. We entering my mileage here. There it is. Seven six seven nine three five. We are in transit because now it's not an available load. It's actually an in transit load. Seven six seven nine three five. I actually got here at like 420 but me and another driver were over there hooking his up I'm setting up the other driver driver's trailer getting their eye wash station all set up then we got so forth so whew, Lord I'm tired y'all I'm hot I'm hot I'm hot I'm hot but anyway we're going to get ready to go to the port. I've been jamming some music while I was doing some paper, but I had to cut it off, you know, for the, for the video purposes. It doesn't like the sound of the, you know, the good stuff, the music. It wants to do a copyright strike. My load weight gauge, 35,300 pounds on my drives is actually accurate within 100 pounds. Once you calibrate it, and I did get it calibrated, so we're good to go on that. So I'm a little heavy, but I'm kind of leaning it down a little bit. All right. Ooh, let's hide that green light back there. Let's see. There we go. That makes it easier for. Now let's see. Got to do a vehicle inspection. Let's see. Do 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 do. Come on. And I hate these this freaking touch screen Omni tracks. You'll push the button, and it literally takes ten seconds for it to register. That you've touched it it's like come on let's go I'm trying to add a trailer thank you I hate these Omni tracks I wish personally they would go to the keep trucking tablets so much easier um, like when, when you're on a reset and as we do as owner operators we go to the stores and everything else go to Walmart and everywhere well, you know, we're on off-duty PC. Well, on this sucker here, say you, you, leave, say you leave where you're at, you go to, leave the yard or where we park our truck at. We go to Walmart, say we turn our truck off. You fire the truck back up, guess what? You better have your volume turned up otherwise it's going to start screaming at you telling you you know do you want to stay in pc because it's easy i've done it on a reset before i forgot to actually because i had the volume turned down so i didn't hear it ask me do i want to continue in pc and since this lights up every so often um at night time while you're trying to sleep i turn the brightness down when i'm on a reset so it doesn't blind me in the bunk and wake me up in the middle of the night with a bright light flashing back there at me. So it's actually screwed up a reset of mine before because it threw me into driving. Unlike the Keep Trucking app, once you put it in PC, it stays in PC until you get done with your reset and then you go on duty to do your, your trailer hook and pre-truck. This one does not do that. So it screws you all the time. It really helps mess you up. 
I already gave it a tug test, but I like to, when I get going, go real slightly, like, you know, just a couple miles an hour to pull out and then give it a hard tug test. That's what Charlie bells are for. Not waiting when you're riding down hills to run your trailer brakes and, you know, use company brakes. That's not what a trolley bell is made for, y'all. I use it for tug tests. Um... So the key trucking app is so much better and it's on a tablet or you can do it on your phone but it's got a tablet it's got a little box like this to mount somewhere tied into your ecm um you know your little port thing for your computer hookup and it's cool i mean just that simple little box bam and you're good to go then it bluetooth with the freaking tablet and all your stuff you just you go with the flow so much easier so much better to work with much better response as opposed to this dumb Omni Tracks bull mess. So, but anyway, it is what it is, y'all. Um, oh no, I see they backed up over there. I ain't even gonna try to go out that way. And they like to block our way coming out of the terminal here. But the strip club down on the corner, plus the distribution center here, so they're always in the freaking way. Let's see, they told us to be there at 5.30. I still don't see the second driver here. The one driver, me and him both left the parking lot and we were there at four o'clock. Yeah, he's not here, so I hope, you know, I hope he comes on. But either way, two of us will be there on time. So, anyway, y'all, we gonna get driving. We'll pick back up when we're at the port and I'll explain a little more about, about this deal when I get there, y'all. Then take the third left. All right, everybody, I'm back. Day is finally over. Oh, Lord, it's been a long freaking day. My shirt, absolutely freaking drenched. Look, y'all can see the color difference from how sweaty I am. This is what it's like when you're in a chemical suit for dang near two and a half, three hours unloading three trucks. But yeah, we had to rush this morning to get to the port because the ship learned us there at 5.30. I already talked to the dock master. Dock master said, y'all ain't coming on here until 7.30 after we do luggage. But, ship learned us there. So we were there. I took a little video going down at my watch, pointing up at the freaking cruise ship sitting right there. We'd already gone through the first check station. We were at the second check station. We were told to go stage. Stage in there. I emailed that to the appropriate person you need to go to. And sure enough, got a phone call while I was down there on the dock. The shipper called, called him and sent him an email. Your drivers aren't here. Uh, yeah, we were. <laughs> at 6 o'clock, they were calling wanting to know where we were at. Dude, we've been out there since freaking 530. 528, we had already cleared the first checkpoint at 528. 535, we were sitting at the staging area. So, hey, wasn't on us, but that's a part of the things you got to go through. I guess I don't need my badge on me right now. But, yeah. That's the things, you know, you have to rush. It's one of them hurry up and wait games, hurry up and wait games. So you get up, you hurry up and get down there, and then you literally sit there for over two hours. You told them. I already talked to the dock master. Y'all aren't coming on this dock until I try to do, do luggage. That is his standard protocol. I've been coming down here since 2020, and that has always been his standard protocol. He don't care what a ship says. That's his dock. He runs that dock. He's in charge of operations on that dock, so really great guy. The guy is freaking awesome. Um, much mad respect for the guy, but what he says goes. That's his dock. So, and that's his safety concern. So, hey, the ship doesn't know. The ship may request, but sorry, it didn't work out. <laughs> anyway, y'all, yeah, it's time for me to drop this trailer I'm back now I'm gonna go out there post trip it check out my trailer for tomorrow make sure I've got everything on it that I need to have 
set it up, make sure it's got all the hoses, I wash stations, fire extinguishers, so forth, etc., 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 yada, 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 yada. There's going to be time for me, I don't know. I think I'm having a cheat day. I think I may go find me some Little Caesars. Go to my Little Caesars, grab me that $4 cheese bread. It's like $4.25 cheese bread. Mm. I love the Italian garlic cheese bread. What can I say? I think I deserve it. Let me pack back on some pounds of what I just sweated off. I'll just put it right back in cheese bread. Anyway, y'all, we hope everybody's having you a good, safe, blessed day. And we'll catch y'all next video, y'all. Remember, I have a... My drive visor for this. It's a long one. It's a long one. It's like 20, 25, 30 minutes. Showing all the good, the bad, the missteps, and all that of putting the drop visor on. So the good, the bad, and the ugly. Anyway, I didn't cut it up. Cut a bunch out. That way people can see, hey, the mistakes that I made. Because there were no instructions on it. So the video on it was actually a different visor, different than what I have. So y'all check that out. The video is coming out Monday morning at 8 a.m. So y'all make sure y'all give that a good thumbs up. Try to watch what you can. Hey, if you want, just play and let it let it turn the volume down if you don't want to watch it. Give me some watch time, y'all. He'll trigger that algorithm. Y'all know what I'm saying, man. Anyway, y'all stay safe. We'll keep it. Keep the shiny side up, rubber side down. We'll catch you on this video, y'all. Peace out. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 go.